Hello everyone, this is Harsimran Singh. I'm going to give you a quick overview of QuickBooks integration with Locus today. So the very first thing you have to do is you have to go to the integration page. So click on the user avatar on the top, click on settings, click on QuickBooks now, connect to QuickBooks. I already had it connected, so that's why I I was able to connect without entering my username password because I already have QuickBooks opened here. And if you haven't created your accounts in Lockers, do create your accounts first. So create a trust account and an operating account. And once you do it, then come to this page. Here we will map because I already had my checkings account in my QuickBooks online. It automatically mapped. It automatically mapped my trust account and my liabilities account. Click on export invoices from Locus to QuickBooks Online. Don't click on this button if you don't want to export your existing invoices from Locus to QuickBooks. So now we have to map Locus time entries to time entries in QuickBooks. So so how we do is you like you have to map to product or services in, in your QuickBooks. So I already had a product or services for time entries, expenses, flat fees. I don't have it for HST, but the process is same. So I will create for HST and you can follow it to do the same for time entries and expenses on your account. So we'll go to QuickBooks now. We'll click on sales. We'll click on product and services click on new and service and we'll click on HST and we are going to save it please note you know like if you are a non-US client you have to set the sales tax rate like in QuickBooks online with a 0% tax rate because if you don't do that once you start syncing Locus invoices to, to QuickBooks, you will get in a message like make sure all transactions have a GST and HST rate before you save. So you have to set the set the sales tax rate in QuickBooks line with a 0% tax rate for, for this product and services. So this is only condition for non-US clients. For US clients, you don't see those options here. So I will close this out. We'll go to settings now because we didn't have the HST when we synced it. So you have to do is you have to resync. Once we resync this, this will bring all the new items. Let's reload Locus as well. Let's again click on export and invoices and now do the mapping. So we'll map expense in Locus to expenses here in QuickBooks. Time entries to time entries flat fees to a flat fee, car tax to a car tax, federal tax to a federal tax, and HST to HST. We are going to save this. Also, please note when you resync items. So if you resync items, it's going to reset this mapping. So always after the resync, if you click on resync, if you want to bring more items from, from your QuickBooks account to this drop down, or if you created new operating accounts or, in a, or a trust account, if you click on resync, it will reset these drop downs. So after the resync, click on a refresh and then again remap these items. So once these are mapped, if we go to Locus now, if we go to Invoices, you see I already, I don't have my QuickBooks synced. So that's why you know, like I can sync with QuickBooks this invoice for right here, or I can create a new invoice. So I will say new invoice, and we can't write, let's add a flat fee, say $300. We'll save this, go to the invoices, you see this new invoice which we generated was was sent to QuickBooks as well. So if I click on QuickBooks here, I can open it in the QuickBooks. Okay, please note like 
locker sync with QuickBooks is, is only one way. So if you make changes here, if you add payments here, like in QuickBooks, those payments and the changes in the invoices will not come back to lockers. So if you have to do any change, you have to do it on lockers. If you are taking payments, you have to add payments in lockers. You can't add it on, on QuickBooks. So we will not be able to import them back to lockers. So, so sync is only one way. So it goes from lockers to QuickBooks. And all the changes you have to make, you have to make in lockers. And if you have a law pay, so the moment the invoice is paid using the law pay, and if it is connected with lockers, we are going to export those payments on onto QuickBooks. Also, the trust request and the credit request, we don't send the invoices for those to QuickBooks. But once the payment is made, those payments are exported to QuickBooks. Also, if you do matter to matter transfer or you do changes on if you make additions on on the trust or on the operating account, they are exported to to your to your QuickBooks. Thank you very much for this.